I like it to, to basically sound like a giant piano. You know, um, I want it to have a nice round tone. I want it to have a little bit of a bounce to it. I play with a pick, so it's got to have evenness when I go to the higher strings. And sometimes, you know, other string companies, and you go to those higher strings, they start to plink out a little bit. And the GHS strings still have like a warmth to them when I go to higher strings with a pick. Um, and then, like I said, it's just, it's just got a nice round tone to it that's easy for sound guys and studio guys and producers to get it make your sound sit in the mix. The strings are super important when it comes to bass. Like, I think way more so than guitar. So you guitar, guitar strings, yes, you want them to sound bright, you want them to, you know, be nice and in tune, but not only are you playing guitar, you're going through an amp. The amp is gonna have all this distortion and tone on it, and it's gonna shape the tone a lot. So you could even switch out guitars, and a lot of times the amp's still gonna have that same sound. Not the same with bass, um, especially for me. I don't use um, any kind of circuitry. It's the bass into our system you know sometimes i'll put like a little chorus sound on it and there'll be like a little bit of a distortion edge from a pedal that i mix in but it's very minor most of the tone comes from the bass and therefore the strings are like 90 percent of the tone like you know or 50 50 if you want to call it the bass and the strings have to work together to create and that's mostly i think for most bass players that's the tone that they're getting you know, unless you're a bass player who's like going through a lot of distortion, a lot of amps and all that, then obviously the amp's gonna be a big part of it. That's not the case for me. It is this. This is the tone. 